Hey guys, Gilles here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today I'm going to show you how to create a simple but awesome dynamic motion graphic. So let's not wait any longer and fire up Premiere Pro. I already went ahead and dropped a video clip in the first video track. This isn't necessary for the final effect, but it gives a nice background. Now I got mine from Storyblocks by the way. Okay, now for the effect, let's move to the window menu and open up the Essential Graphics panel. Whoppa! There it is. And let's make a new text layer first. Start by typing your first word. I'm going for stay. Then I'm going to add a new shape layer, which is going to be a rectangle. It doesn't matter which color it is, just make sure to place it above your text layer and make sure that it's quite white and about the same height as your text layer. Then select mask with shape. This will now function as a mask, so as long as our text is in this rectangle field, it will be visible. Okay, now it's time to get creative and create our dynamic effect. I'm going to the effects panel and look for the transform effect. Drag this onto the essential graphics panel and place it above the text layer. Then we're going to select both the effect and the text layer and group them by clicking on this little icon in the bottom right corner. Now why are we doing this? Well, when we group an effect with a layer, the effect will only be applied to that specific layer. Now go to the effect controls panel and let's make a simple animation. First I'm going to uncheck the checkbox for the composition shutter angle and set a custom one of 180. This will give us motion blur in our animation. Then I'm going to the beginning of the clip and change the position value so my text is located on the right side of the rectangle and underneath it. Then I'm going a bit further in time and I'm going to place the text inside the rectangle so it becomes visible. Then a bit further in time, I'm placing another keyframe and then I move even further and move the text towards the left side of the rectangle so that it can make some space for a new text. Okay, for the text, I'm actually going to copy and paste our existing group in the Essential Graphics panel. But let's quickly rename these groups to keep a bit more overview. Bam! That's better. Now from the Effect Controls panel, delete all the existing keyframes. Find the point where the stay text is moving and start by placing a keyframe there where it starts underneath the rectangle. Then head a bit further in time and place a new text in its right position within that rectangle. Then once again, we go further in time and place another keyframe. And yet a bit further in time, we're going to let it move above the rectangle so it disappears again. You can now do this with as many texts as you like. Simply copy and paste the group and drag the keyframes so that the ending of the previous text lines up with the beginning of the new text. Now this way it looks like it's changing just like in a slot machine. And of course, don't forget to ease in and ease out your keyframes because that's the most important part about animations. Now for the ending you can do whatever you want. I just take my first and last text and animate them the same way outside of the rectangle. Now if you think this looks a bit boring, you can always spice it up with more visuals like particles or you can use some glitch effect on the text. And where can you get such assets? Well, on our website of course. Just go to premierebasics.net and click on video packs. Or if you want to learn even more about video editing or After Effects, you can head over to our classes. So click on the link below and get your video packs right now. I'll see you guys next week for a new tutorial, which is going to be a special one. And of course for a new live stream. And as always, stay creative.